This is Dr. Neil Thompson with the University of Maine at Fort Kent. Today we are going to create a UTM grid like you see here on an annotated air photo of our campus and a work site that our students are going to go work on this week. So first let's make sure that our map is in the coordinate system that we want and it must be a UTM system. So we go to properties, coordinate system, and we are in UTM zone 19 north. Now we go over to Grids, and we're going to remove the one we already have. Apply. No more grid. Now create a new grid, and we want a measured grid. So we're going to call this UTM 1000 because we're going to create a 1000 meter grid. We set the intervals to 1000 meters. The coordinate system is the same as the data frame and we want the grids and the labels both. We're going to accept the default symbolization. Finish. And OK, here we are. So now we want to check and make sure our coordinate system is correct. In the bottom, you see right down here, we're displaying the coordinates in UTMs. If we put our cursor right over the line, can see 523200 zero, zero, zero. and we're displaying 5232006 zero, zero, so we're correct on this axis down here we have 533000 zero, zero, zero. and we have 533008 zero, zero, so we're correct on this axis as well and we are good to go and use this as a reference in our field navigation